just some injury updates for you guys. Uh, Josh Sills, ankle. Uh, Jelani uh, Woods got a toe. Juju's got a nose. And Bordellini's got a toe as well. Um, so yeah, ready when you guys are. Is, is Juju, is, is it broken or something? Or is he going to be okay? I'll find out more for him. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any concerns about Matt Gay and just missing some kids? I don't. I really don't. He's a pro. Um, I think he's going to be just fine. We'll be fine there. Is it safe to say at this point that Nick Cross is one of the two starting safeties? Just got to figure out what it looks like, or is that still open? We're still working through those things. Those guys are battling. Um, we got another week, you know. We're going to Cincinnati. It's going to be a big week for all those guys back there at that position. Um, we'll see where it goes from there. But he made some plays today, which was good to see. You guys carried a third quarterback on the roster last year, but the rules have changed. Mm -hmm. Do you still see that the same way? We'll see. I mean, I think it's going to come down at the end of the roster and how we're looking at it. Uh, the pieces and the puzzle that we're going to try to put together, and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll see how it plays out. What do you have in, in Sam? Sam's a great leader in that room. Um, he's smart, uh, very smart football player, knows to go with the football. Um, he makes plays when he gets out there. You know, he runs around, he makes plays, and something's not there. You can see he scrambles. He almost got that third down on that first drive uh, when it was third and ten. Um, but he battles, he scratches, he claws. I uh, love everything about Sam. How, how is your second offensive line kind of coming together, do you think? It's been good. It's been good. Obviously, those guys, we got some young guys in there, some drafted guys um, that we're going through. But uh, the continuity of those guys getting in there, getting those game reps today was huge. Um, we keep working through that. But I like where those guys are at. Is there any reason for uh, Dio playing as late as he did? It just seems. Yeah, we just with the, with the numbers we had, uh, we had him out there. Um, and so we went from there. And that's what really what it was. Explosiveness. I mean, he made a ton of plays. Uh, two touchdown scoring drives. Had the big fourth and one conversion. Uh, had a big third down conversion. Um, it was exciting. He did a lot of good things for us today, for sure. Another game where Tommy made a couple of splash plays. Just how have you kind of seen him stack days throughout the preseason? He's getting better. I'll tell you what. From last year training camp to right now, uh, he's making a ton of plays. He's making them in practice, and now it's showing up in the game. Uh, you can see his technique. Charlie Parker's our D-line coach, has been doing a hell of a job with him uh, with technique stuff, and uh, it's showing up on game day, so I really like where Tommy's at. Shane, all the second stringers, third stringers, getting a lot of run today. I feel like I get a better idea when you click on the tape, but when you do click on the tape, what do you hope to see from them uh, to kind of give you a good feeling about their, their Just job? their execution, how they went out and did their job. Uh, obviously, those guys, they got a ton of reps today, which is great for those guys. They just get those in-game experiences, uh, which is big. And uh, go back, we'll look at the tape, but I'm excited to watch those guys both on all sides of the ball. With Juju, was playing him today a function of him not playing any other Correct. Game? Yeah, he didn't play last week, so we got to get him out there this week to get him out there. All three touchdowns, rushing touchdowns, how encouraged are you by this ground game even further back? It was great. I think we went for 166 on the ground uh, with all those guys that were battling, scratching, and clawing, uh, which was good to see. You know, and. Uh, this this game was an opportunity too for all our assistant coaches. A lot of guys called the game throughout on both sides of the ball. Uh, gave all those guys an opportunity to call it. It was fun uh, to listen to everyone call it and hear the guys going back and forth like great call. You know, it, it was fun. So it's good experience for those guys. Um, some of those guys obviously call plays, but it was good to have the opportunity to those guys to do. Was it, it was it Jim Bob offensively? Yeah, it was Jim Bob. It was Alex Tanny. It was Tommy oh, Manning. It was K yeah, we mixed it up. Everyone had a quarter and stuff. Did, and same thing on defense. Did you do it the first game? I did not. I think it's just growth for those guys. Uh, give those guys an opportunity. You know, everyone has goals and aspirations, just like players, right? Uh, to be coordinators and call plays and stuff. So to give those guys that um, opportunity was was awesome. Did you remember your first time going, like having that chance? And when you I did. I was a quality control coach. Uh, gosh, I want to say like 2015. I called the fourth quarter of the third quarter or fourth quarter of a Niner preseason game up in San Fran. So it was fun. <laughs> Do you remember any calls from that game? I remember calling a pivot over the ball, uh, a play action pass. I don't remember much, to be honest. <laughs> Do you remember just like a feeling of like, it's on me now? Is that guy who's like, Making play calls. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you know, it's, it's interesting. I was the first time I did it. It was, it was I was I was young. I mean, I was my fourth, fifth year in the league, and it was fun doing it. Though I enjoyed it, but it is like something goes bad or something. You're like, crap! I should have called that. You know what I mean? You, it's just one of those things you go through. But uh, it's good. It's a good experience for everybody. Nick got uh, extended run tonight. What do you hope just to see from him with more reps? I just want to see him keep making plays. I mean, that position, you got to make plays on the back end, and. Uh, guy that makes the most plays and knows what to do all the time, and that's a guy that's going to be in there. Shane, a couple games now in the books preseason-wise. Do you like where this group is overall and what you focused on this week? 
I really do. Uh, I like where our group is on all three phases. Um, I'm really excited and looking forward to this week uh, going against Cincinnati, Tuesday joint practice, and then, of course, preseason game Thursday night. Uh, and then before we know it, we'll be back here in Lucas Oil week one against Houston. So I like where we're at. We've got to keep going, keep stacking days, and just keep being relentless in everything we do.